Hello and welcome to a brand new televised kart series, the Motors TV Ultimate Kart Challenge. A nine round championship coming to you every month from Three Sisters International Raceway right here in Wigan. I'm Ben colson Juris, and along with my co-presenter Sam Park and race commentator Alan Teddyi, we'll be bringing you all the action from our four classes. It will promise this to be an exciting and new concept for karting in the UK. So how does this series differ from any other? Well, at this first round, drivers have to draw their grid positions by lot, but from the second round onwards, grids will be determined by the drivers' championship positions in reverse. This means that the championship leader will start last at the back of the grid, with second alongside and so on. Well, this morning, the drivers drew their grid positions for this first round, and Sam caught up with some of the contenders in the first class we'll be covering, the cadet class for the 8 to 12s. I'm here with 11-year-old Liam Kelly, who's racing within the cadets today. Liam, you've drawn 23 on the grid today. How do you feel about that? Um, not too good, because I wanted, like, in the top 10 or something, but I have to do my best. Luke, what position did you draw today? I started in 12th on the grid. OK, and who's your competition? Who's around you? Um, well, there's um, Josh Fry's on pole, and there's Liam starting 23rd. So I think it's Josh is going to go at the start and then Liam's going to be working his way through. Danny, you've had two practice sessions today. How have they gone? Uh, yeah, the first one was alright and the second one was really good. Yeah. Alright, and you've drawn 10th on the grid today. Can you win it from there? Uh, yeah, I can win it with there. Ryan Burns is in front of me and he's on my pace so I can just work with him and get to the front. Hopefully win it. So those are just some of the drivers that we'll be seeing today in our first race. Now let's go over to all the action with our race commentator, Alan Taddei. Grid positions for the cadets then. From Wiltshire, Josh Fry has pulled pole on P2, Sam Vanderpump. On three, local boy Scott Rickson. James McClay comes next from Scotland. David McNichol on P5, Declan Jones on six. On seven, Ethan Patterson will be one of the favourites. He's on P7, Ryan Burns on eight. Jordan Horton's on nine. Danny Sweeney, another favourite on P10. The captain, Travis Kirk's on 11. Luke Hughes will be driving the Global Tiles card on 12. Bradley Ord on 13, Will Hunter 14, Lewis Jones on 15, that cheeky little grin from Cameron Lewis on 16, Joseph O'Reardon comes next, followed by Piers Packen and Walsh, and comes Abigail Jerry and Mark Wakefield just off his novice plates, he's on 20, got it all to do from there, Ben Duncalf's on 21, Jacob Huntstone on 22, and comes Liam Kelly, one of the favourites for this round, but he's drawn 23, Middlehurst is on 24, then come the Connors, Savage and Llewellyn, followed by Henry Winter on 27, Joe Burns on 28, Liam Murphy on 29 and rounding out the grid is Jack Parker. 30 carts make up this first race of the season for the cadets, aged 8 to 12. Here we go, green flag, we're off and running. On board with Liam Kelly, number 94, makes short work of those in front. He must have made six places up there into turn one, started 23rd. There he is going through turn one. All seem to get through there safely. 24 is Abigail Jerry, 33 is Jacob Hunstone. Back on board with Kelly, down to Dunlop Hairpin for the first time, disposes of another couple there. Still fry out front, followed by Van der Pump, McClay, Rickson and Hughes. Hughes 75 is up seven places from 12th. Kelly's made up 10 though, from 23rd to 13th. That is Josh Fry, the pole man, who's out front. McClay slips it up the inside of Van der Pump. Uh, McClay into second, Van der Pump down to third. Scott Rickson, one in wide, number 57 there in the background. Through Luna for the first time, it's still Fry the pole man out front, second is McClay, third Van der Pump, back on board with Kelly, that's uh, Ethan Patterson in front, number 16, just seeing them going through the picture there, number 17 in the shot was Piers Packen and Walsh, back on board with Kelly, classic karting move here in Cadets, put your front nose cone on the rear bumper of the kart in front, you get not only the slipstream effect but both engines working as one, still Fry out front from McClay, then comes Hughes, Putting a move on Vanderpump for fourth place is Sweeney. Kelly goes through for what is, what's that, sixth place. Make that fifth as he looks up the inside of Vanderpump. It makes it stick as well. So Liam Kelly started 23rd. He's already up to fifth. And he looks like he's going to tip Danny Sweeney off his list sometime soon as they come down Rogerson's into Luna for the second time. Kelly down the inside of Sweeney and Kelly through to fourth place. Started 23rd. Must have worried about that when he drew that out of the hat this morning. His position is looking much better now though, being pushed along now by Sweeney, it's fly out front from McClay. McClay from Fife in Scotland has made the long trip down 14th in last year's National Championships. Hughes running right the mix now, Ben's got some news down on the track, Ben. Concerned dads with me down here because it has stunted terrain and pretty hard too. 
Thanks for that, Ben. Ben Constantur is our presenter turn weatherman. As we see Van der Pont get caught up in a Rickson Llewellyn sandwich there. 57 Rickson, 37 was Llewellyn. 21 going through the shot, Joe Byrne. Back with the leaders, Hugh 75 right in on the action. Here's the PI research replay of that earlier incident. You see Van der Pomp first catches the rear end of uh, 37, that's Colin Welly. Runs into Scott Rickson, takes a bit of a ride. Hopefully no damage done. Back with Hughes, now pushing McClay along the straight. McClay 14, S14. Oh, you can see the water on the lens now. And that looks reasonably heavy. They're all out on slicks. First look at the split time between Hughes and Kelly third to fourth 1.23 seconds currently keep an eye on that one looks like Hughes looking for the inside move in fact does the pair as Fry seems to get caught out on the slippery surface McClay looking to make the move on the inside but can't do so he's in third place there come the bush signals love those old chestnuts driver behind gets in front and immediately points forward that's the signal for the driver he's just overtaken to push him along so they get away from the carts who are following Slippery surface, flag is out, you can just see it in the background there, red and yellow flag as we see Huntstone number 33 up the inside of 27 Sweeney, Huntstone on the KCC Global Cart then up into the top six, drops one of the championship favourites, Danny Sweeney, down a place to seventh, and he's closely followed by Ethan Patterson, we're back on board with Kelly, 26 is the pole man Fry, Fry currently in third place, but for how long, Kelly looks pretty threatening, Runs into the back of Fry, looking to push him along, thinks better of it, now makes the inside move, going for second, two places, and Fry's gone! Fry slips off on the slippery surface. We heard from Ben earlier that it was raining, they're all out on slicks, and Fry's been caught out, unfortunately, going through turn one, he's got it all to do again, he's down in 15th place now. As we see Abigail Jerry's gone in front of Danny Sweeney. So Jerry having a good run, 97, David Nick McNichol runs wide. Parker and Llewellyn slide by. Jerry looking for a move on Kelly and Jerry makes it stick. Going with her is Sweeney, drops Kelly back a couple. On board with Kelly. Abigail Jerry out front, she's in second place now, started 19th though, she's up 17 places. Kelly himself started 23rd, he's now in third, so he's up 20 places. McClay's just deprived Sweeney of that uh, fourth spot. There's a split between Hughes and Jerry. First to second, 1.23 seconds as Kelly gets hung out to drive through turn one and he's got it all to do again. Further around the lap, Sweeney now back in the second. Jerry now down to third. McClay looking to put a move on Jerry. He's down the inside. Can he hold on? I think he can. No, he can't. Jerry cuts his nose off. Will she have a look up the inside of Sweeney here through the left hander? No, she won't. McClay 14, quick look over his shoulder. McClay is actually the Scottish champion last year in both Honda and Coma Cadet back on board with Kelly, putting the move on McClay for that fourth place. So Kelly's back into fourth. McClay then in fifth. Kelly looking for third. Make that second, is it? No. Gap between Hughes and Sweeney's been extended. 1.73 seconds. There is Luke Hughes is out front of that Global Tires car all on his own. Kelly stay there though. He's 16 is Ethan Patterson. Well behind those in front, but well clear of those behind. 27 is Sweeney. 94 behind is Kelly, second and third, back on board with Kelly. Through the first part of Luna, the left-hander, this is the right-hander now, 27 Sweeney still there in second place, Kelly third, Jerry is fourth, then comes McClay, top five, Hughes is still out front, Kelly pushing Sweeney along, Sweeney putting his hand down on the carburetor there, just adjusting the mixture, getting the best out of that engine as they come through turn one. Battles all the way down the field, nine carts in this group, 15th to 23rd, that's led by Henry Hunter, William Hunter on the back of the group, Arredon, Peckland, Walsh, Vanderpump, Jones, Murphy, Duncalf and Ord were the others in amongst that mix. As we rejoin the leaders, we can see Kelly through to second, they're closing Hughes down in a hurry, 22 is Hunter. Going back to the lead group though, they get the last lap board now, McLeish has put in the first lap, 48, 410 as Kelly runs into the back of Hughes, runs in wide, Sweeney through to second, Hughes is through the lead, Jerry trying to demote Hughes back another place to fourth, Kelly's got the clean track in front, Sweeney's behind, he'll stick his nose into the hairpin, he does so, contact between them, and Hughes is back into the lead, incredible stuff on the last lap, McClay trying to make a move down the inside, has Jerry held on for third, she hasn't, still Kelly in second, now Sweeney should look up the inside here, no room from Hughes, they come down to Luna for the last time, Sweeney's defending, Hughes is defending, Kelly looks for the outside line, Jerry is off, out of picture, Jerry is off, 
this last lap's held everything so far, and it's not over yet, as Hughes runs wide, Sweeney takes the inside line, the side by side coming to the line, has Sweeney got it, Sweeney steals it, on the line, Hughes is second, Kelly's third, Jerry was off in the last lap, it was an absolute thriller, the cadets, as usual, demonstrate why karting is motorsport of the overtaking kind. Sweeney Hughes, Kelly McLean, Jerry dish up a classic last lap decider. A five-way battle for the win. A thriller of Hitchcock-like quality. Here's the official result. Danny Sweeney takes the win. Interestingly, the split time between Sweeney and Hughes, 0 0.000. Only the starter could split them. Kelly rounded out the podium. McClay's fastest lap, 48.410, the fastest lap of the race. Great drives by Llewellyn and Parker for fifth and sixth. Josh Fry would have drive back to seventh. Patterson, Horton and Hunston round out the top ten. I'm off for a lie down. Here we are with the winners of the cadet class. We've got Liam Kelly in third, Luke Hughes in second and Daniel Sweeney in first. Daniel, how was the race for you? Yeah, it was a very good race. Um... Luke pulled away a bit and me and Liam worked together and we caught Luke back up and I, there was a coming together a little bit with me and Liam at the hairpin and then um, Luke, Luke got in front and then coming down to Luna in the final corner I just um, slipped down the inside of him. You'll be starting last next month, how do you feel about that? Um, I just hope that I can go to the front really, push and go to the front. If cadet karting was a stake, it would be a 50-ounce fillet. We'll be back after the break with the Minimax class and an interview with one of the pre-event favourites, James Theodore.